I've been getting a lot of comments lately asking, where are you? Are you in an ambulance? Are you in a spaceship? For those of you that don't already know, I'm a mobile groomer and all of the grooming that I do takes place inside of my mobile grooming vans. I thought it would be fun to give you guys a tour. This is my Wagon Tails Elite. It is a Ford E450 box van that was converted by Wagon Tails into a grooming van. The first thing that you guys will notice is that it's all white, has no graphics, and it's blank. That wasn't always the case. It did have a full wrap on it. Everything that is white used to be colorful and have my business name and phone number on it. But because I groom a lot of senior dogs, disabled dogs, and dogs with disabilities, I noticed that having my business name and my phone number on it was more of a distraction. People were coming and knocking on my door, peeking in through the windows. And when you're dealing with dogs like I do, the seniors, the disabled, and the dogs with high anxiety, it became a safety issue. So I decided to have all the graphics removed. Now I'm incognito. Nobody knows who I am, what I'm doing, and that's how I like it. Um, this right here is the heart of my mobile grooming van. It is the generator. This is what powers everything. <laughs> it's a Cummins Onan commercial diesel generator. This is the most expensive piece of equipment on this van. It's amazing. I love it. It works great. I use this thing 8 to 12 hours a day and it never fails me. If you're a mobile groomer, this is the number one thing that you have to pay close attention to, baby it and take care of it. Follow all of the instructions, do all of your maintenance on it because without this, you're out of business. These right here, if I didn't want to use my generator for whatever reason, it's not functioning correctly, I can plug in using big they're like really big power cords into my clients homes or even my own home and groom using these but being mobile the whole point is that you want to be self-sufficient self-contained and you want it to be convenient for your clients if I'm having to plug into their homes that's an inconvenience for them and it's not something that I like to do unless absolutely necessary but thankfully I take care of Big Bertha here and I've never had to do it this is the back of my van up here. It's my savior. It's my backup camera and without that, I wouldn't be able to park or parallel park. So I'm very grateful for that right there. In here, this is my clipper back. This is my regular shot back. That is my laundry chute. This right here is the big power cord that I was talking about. If for whatever reason I needed to plug in, that's what I would use. And then my super suzzer system where I clean it out. I have a vent right there that I can turn on and just kind of pull everything off if needed. And then there's also a lever back there that I pull to drain all of my dirty water. On this side of the van, pretty basic but this is my hot water heater this right here is where I fill up fill up my water I just plug the hose in right there that right here is where all of the gray water comes out I pull the lever and it dumps right there and now I'm going to take you inside to show you where all the magic happens come on watch your step This is my mobile grooming shop. It is literally a mobile grooming shop on wheels. I love this van. It is so spacious. It has more space than I need. This is the second grooming station. It has two. So if I, sometimes what I'll do is I'll dry one dog here and while I'm working on another one, or you can have two groomers in here, but this is the second grooming station. This is my main grooming station. It is an electric lift grooming table. I love the size of this table. I'm able to do big great Pyrenees or tiny little chihuahuas. Whatever size dog, this has not failed me. It also has a nice little ramp that pulls out so 
where I can lift it up and the dogs can just easily walk into the tub, which is really, really convenient. And as you'll see throughout the van, there's no shortage of storage in here. I've got so many cupboards and drawers. This thing can hold much more stuff than I need on a daily basis, but it is nice to never do without. The other thing that I love is I love all of the LED lights throughout here. It works really well for filming and grooming. I love it. This is my vent right here. I turn this on and this is what sucks out all of the warm, the warm air. It sucks out all of the humidity and it also sucks out all of the nail dust and small hair particles. It keeps my air nice and fresh. This is my stainless steel tub. This is the regular hose that I use to wash the dogs. That's my super sudser system. It also has a nice little ramp in here where I can lift it up. Saves my back when I'm doing little dogs. I don't have to bend over as far. This is the laundry chute that you saw. Put my dirty towels through there and they go into the little basket in the back. And then this is just all of my little controls that I have. This is how I check my dirty water and my fresh water, my propane. This is where I turn on my hot water heater, my dryer, vacuum, clipper vac. Here is my dryer right here. The dryer is in the back and then the hose reaches from the back through here. This is where I keep my towels. This is usually where I keep all of my grooming products. I just cleaned it really well so I took everything out. I'm actually not really using this van right now. And then this is where I would usually keep all of my clippers and my blades and my shears. One of the other things that this van has that makes it the elite is a bathroom. Not all grooming vans have a bathroom. If you're a mobile groomer, you know how much of a luxury it is to have a bathroom in your grooming van. It's for number ones only though, guys. It's small, but it works, and it's very nice to have. This little door right here is how I get from the cab of the van into the grooming area. So usually what I do is I'll pull up to a client's house and I don't get out of the driver's side door. I just go through this little door and then I usually exit through these doors. Go get the dogs, come in here and close. This is the cab of my grooming van. It's a pretty standard setup. Regular CD player, old school, AC, basic. Uh, it has the has a large screen for the backup camera that I showed you guys in the back. I have to parallel park a lot and park in very tight spots. So without this, I don't think I would have been able to park this van. I probably would have backed into quite a few things. So that's pretty much it for this. It's pretty basic. I hope you guys all enjoyed the tour of my Wagon Tails Elite. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to beep that like button, subscribe, and if you have any questions, be sure to comment down below. I've gotta go though, I've got dogs to groom. Bye!